This couch is a pervert. Whenever a beautiful woman sits on it, he automatically turns on the massage. But if a man sits on it, he will reach out 40 meters long iron hook. While the man is not looking at his vital points, what's even scarier? is that the couch will dispose of the body itself afterwards. It turned out to be a strained couch with a lot of resentment, but the man is obviously not afraid of death. But this sofa from the trash pick back, the man thought it got a good deal. But that night, something weird happened. Lisa is taking a bath in the bathroom, but something is strange outside. But there was no one else in the room, so she didn't pay much attention. After taking a bath, Lisa put her legs on the sofa and played with her mobile phone. But the sofa seemed to enjoy it at this time. The next morning, Lisa suddenly noticed candles on the floor. She walked in the direction of the candles and found breakfast ready on the sofa. At that time, her boyfriend rushed over. Lisa thought he was ready and went up to give a big hug, but the man obviously did not take it seriously and picked up the breakfast above and ate it. When he finished eating and wanted to take down a piece, but then the sofa actually moved. Obviously the couch is angry and the consequences will be very serious. At this time, the sofa quietly stretched out the big iron hook and suddenly stabbed the man's vital point. The man cried out in pain, but the sofa still refused to give up. Two police officers arrived just in time to save the man's life, but the strange sofa was not about to leave him alone. This couch is a pervert and he's spying on the pretty girl next to him in the shower. Women always feel that there is something wrong behind them, but they can't tell what is going on. After taking a bath, she lay down on the sofa to rest, but accidentally found that the sofa has a massage function. The woman's face looks very satisfied. This massage is quite good. This couch is not just any couch. It's a weird couch cursed by someone, but her boyfriend Tom was greedy for a bargain and brought it back from the garbage. But that very night, Tom noticed a strange noise coming from downstairs. When he opened the window and looked down, he saw the sofa staring back at her. He was momentarily stunned. She quickly closed the window, only to be blocked by the iron hook. But at this time, the man's leg had been injured, and it had not run far before he was killed by the sofa. In that evening, Lisa suddenly heard a strange noise outside. She mustered up the courage to check it out and found the sofa suddenly looking back at her, a scene that shocked Lisa for an instant, so she called her bestie, but there was nothing unusual about the sofa at this time. Lisa still followed her bestie to live in her home, but at this time, the sofa was watching them leave on the balcony. The next day, Lisa's ex-boyfriend suddenly burst into her house. He searched around the room, but did not see Lisa, but just as he was ready to leave, the sofa was slowly and quickly approaching with the iron, and when the man found it was too late. In that evening, Lisa asked her friend to come to her house and bring some clues. She found a body lying on the balcony. This couch is not just any couch. The man just Saturday on it, and the sofa suddenly stretched out a big iron hook and hit him directly while the man was not paying attention. What's even more outrageous is that this couch would dispose of a body on its own. But this scene was seen by a girl. She was immediately scared stunned, but just as she was about to leave, she stepped on a clip and the sofa was staring at her. What's more, at this time, the door has been locked by the sofa. In desperation, the woman opened the window of the room and jumped from the 18th floor, but she fell into a trash can and passed out. When Lisa saw that her friend didn't come home, she called the police officers to check on her, but there was no one in the house except for a sofa. Finally, after a search by two police officers, they found a stolen body hidden in the backyard of the balcony. When Lisa saw this scene, she was shocked and frowned for an instant. What's more, the sofa behind her shouted Lisa's name, which scared Lisa to run out of the house. When Lisa saw her dead boyfriend upstairs greeting her, she couldn't take it anymore. She returned to her room with a bucket of gasoline, poured it all on the sofa, and prepared a fire to set the sofa on fire, but the match soon went out, and Lisa lit another one. At this time, Lisa was extremely desperate, and even more desperate, the sofa stood up. It moved slowly and quickly towards Lisa, just in time for a police officer to arrive and attack the sofa. They thought they were safe now, but the couch forcibly switched souls with Lisa. Originally, the sofa was sealed with the soul of a couple, and the male police officer was also occupied by the sofa. That's the end of the movie. This movie makes me feel quite overwhelmed. Well, how does the director make this kind of movie? Although the content is very innovative, it doesn't feel nutritious at all. This movie can really only be seen as a joke. There's nothing serious. There's a tire killer who could make a movie for a little money. What's wrong with the movie market these days? 